Written a victory by Hambone. That's John Hamilton. Born in Texas for more than 40 years, John Hambone Hamilton has been working with horses. Yeah, growing up, uh, there was a man who had race horses that approached me at the post office one day and asked me, did I want a job? Uh, and if I did, to be there at his ranch the next morning, uh, his name was Jim Danzy. The ironic thing was I was terrified of horses, but you know we didn't have much growing up, and this was a way to you know to make some money. So I showed up, and I guess the rest is history. Hamilton rode his first race and won his very first race at Delta Downs in 1984, eventually making Louisiana not just his home, but also the sole state in which he now plies his trade. If the opportunity here is huge. You know the people in Louisiana appreciate hard work, and, you know, and, and it's just rewarded. You know you can you can make a good living as a rider full time here in Louisiana. Probably the only place in the country you can do that. Affectionately known as Hambone, it's been a nickname that has stuck with him throughout his whole career and a moniker that means a lot to him personally. It's, you know, it's dear to me because the first ballot I had, his name was Thad Briley. He was a, he was a good guy and, you know, he was older than me and, and uh, he had a lot of work ethic and morals and he kind of took me in and that, that's who gave me that name. So that name means a lot to me, Hambone, yeah. Over the years, you know, that's... That's been, you know, that's, that's pretty dear to him. Known through most of his career as a quarter horse jockey, Hamilton has won more than $2 million in purses on four separate years, including more than $2.5 million in 2012. That success has allowed him to focus solely on the sprints. In the beginning, back in the day, there, was, there wasn't that many straight quarter horse race days, so you had to ride thoroughbreds. I wasn't. A, I didn't have a lot of success riding thoroughbreds, but and I even went to, uh, to Nebraska and rode thoroughbreds for a while. When the first person got really bad here, I went and tried to make a go over it up there, but I always wanted to get back here to Louisiana. I had a lot more luck, you know, and I like, I like the uh, speed aspect of it. You know, I don't have a lot of. I can't really rate a horse. I, I can get them to run the right fractions, but I got nothing to finish with. Where with our quarter horses, it's just the explosion from the gates to the wire. You know, it's something that you really can't be matched. With a professional career spanning more than three decades, Hamilton has had countless accolades, including leading rider titles at the four tracks operating here in Louisiana. He's won multiple stakes. We had the Challenge Championship one time at New Orleans at the fairgrounds. There's like, there were 10 stakes races, and the, the biggest race of the day was the grade one NBA Challenge Championship. And I win three stakes, and the, and the big one, so I went four stakes that day. And was, I mean, that was a, the highlight of anyone's career. I was super blessed that day. I went a lot of races that day, made a lot of money. In 2018, he picked up his 2,000th career quarter horse victory. I passed the mark before I knew about it. So it was, a. Uh, it wasn't the pressure that you have a lot of times. That's, you know, that was a hard number for me to get to because of injuries. You know, it was a hard number to reach because, you know, when I was coming up, there wasn't that many, you know, it was hard to win a hundred races in a year because of, you know, there wasn't that many race days. So it was, you know, it was a, it was a goal that I wanted to, to reach in my career. So it was, it was a good moment for me and my family as well. Every athlete's career has ups and downs and a jockey's life has constant bumps and bruises. But Hambone extending the prime of his career into his mid fifties has also come with pain and rehab. In December of 2015, he had shoulder surgery and in November of 2017, he also broke his femur. The longest one to come back was when I had shoulder surgery. It was a torn cuff and a, my bicep was torn. And that was, that was hard to come back from, you know, my right arm and this, you know, I lost uh, all my strength. It took longer to recover from that than it did the broken femur. Even with the setbacks, Hamilton is one of the leading riders here in Louisiana, competing against jockeys less than half his age, and he doesn't see an end to his amazing career anytime soon. As long as I have good horses to ride and I can be competitive, then I'll keep riding. I mean, it comes easy for my age. You know, I live my life a little different than I used to, so as long as I can be competitive and do it without a lot of pain, I'm going to keep on doing it.